Rafa, after so long away from competition, how excited are you to get back to action this week here in Monte Carlo? Well, happy to be back to the to the tour, of course, and uh, especially happy to be back here in this amazing place. No, uh, it's part of the history of our sport, this tournament, and it's part of my personal history uh, too. No, so. Uh, yeah, very excited to be back. Uh, I'm enjoying the first couple of days here with, I think, some beautiful weather and uh, good conditions to, to play tennis. And yeah, I'm very excited to, to start. You had a couple of back issues, didn't you, at the start of the year in that run through to the quarterfinals in, in Melbourne. I mean, how bad did it get and how useful has this sort of break been to fully recover? Yeah, it was a tough, tough time. So before, the, the, before the Australian Open, I had to find solutions every single day to try to to, to play the tournament and finally I did. It was not a, a bad result, quarterfinals, but not not uh, as good as I would like. No, I felt uh, very uh, ready for for Melbourne, but then after the, the the problem on the back took me, I I had to for around 20 something days before the tournament started, I had this this problem, so uh, I lost a little bit the the the, <laughs> the positive feelings. No. Then take it, uh, take it some time to be back on court. Uh, I had to do some uh, treatment at home uh, that take it a couple of weeks to to be able to to work the right way again. But I am I am quite happy now. Uh, for the last month, I am practicing uh, well. Uh, I, I was able to to work as much as I would like, uh, and I am playing well now. So I am happy the way that I am arrived here. Uh, I know you would have loved to have competed in, in Miami, but obviously in the absence of some big names, it was a, a great first Masters 1000 title for Hubie Hercats. I mean, how an impressive a performance was that in what was a great tournament for the youngsters, wasn't it? Well, having a, a very young final now between Janik and Hubert, both great guys, so uh, happy for Hubert. Uh, sorry for Janik that I know him well, so, uh, but... Uh, both of them are very good, and we know we knew that before they played that final here. No, so um, yeah, good for tennis that have different winners. So. It's quite a few years ago, but how special was your memory of your first Masters 1000 title? Well, it was amazing. It was here, 2005. Uh, yeah, I always loved this tournament. Uh, watching. Uh, Finals, historic finals here in in Monaco, and when as a, when I was able to win Monte Carlo for the first time means everything to me. I mean, it was 11 titles from 15 starts. What is it about this place? Obviously, the surface is is your is your best, but what is it about this place that's been uh, makes it so special? I don't know. I always felt comfortable here. I always uh, enjoyed the, the atmosphere, the the club, uh, the place, so uh, the conditions to play tennis. I I always had the uh, I love a story with this place, no, and uh, hopefully this year can continue well and can uh, and I can be ready to compete at uh, at the highest level again.